my channel. My name is Chastity. Here we talk about beauty, entertainment, celebrities, books, movies, anime, TV shows, and kind of anything else that garners my attention this week. And today we are going to be talking about the allegations surrounding YouTuber Nova Almonte from the Almonte films. So before we even get into this video, trigger warning for sexual assault, sexual assault of a minor, grooming, suicide, verbal abuse, things of that nature. If you view these topics as too triggering, please skip this video. I promise you, I'll be back next week with something a lot more lighthearted than this one. Now, this video is by no means my first time talking about a content creator being accused of sexual assault and things of that nature, but this was the first time I felt actually like involved in this situation because usually I've talked about content creators that I've either always knew something was wrong about them. I might not have known they were like assaulting people, but something wasn't clean the bottom up with a lot of those influencers. Or they're like TikTokers, and TikTok really is not my demographic, you know. I'm only 23, but have somehow completely out of a demographic. But this whole situation, Nova was a person that I had been subscribed to for years. It had only unsubscribed maybe two, three years ago for a completely unrelated situation. I just didn't like the way they moved in a situation that like they weren't even supposed to be a part of. And I was just like, it left a bad taste in my mouth. I did unsubscribe. But I spent so many years being a very avid subscriber of this person. And like, to see all of this, again, I'm never surprised. A stranger can never surprise me, but I was still taken aback because I would like cite, you know, Nova as one of the many youtubers that inspired me to start a youtube channel i loved their content i loved the topics they talked about i loved the way they went about those topics i loved their humor and this was definitely like a moment for me also another side note though i used to be a avid subscriber of nova i like i said earlier i had unsubscribed maybe two three years ago and that was before nova had changed their name and as well change their pronouns. So I'm going to do my very, very best to not use the wrong pronouns. But if I do, I just wanted to be known that, that, was, that there is no malicious intent behind it, that I am not purposely trying to misgender Nova. Nova, AKA The Amante Films, is a 24 year old YouTuber from Harlem, which I feel like explains the situation perfectly. They started their channel on February 6, 2013. They now have 263K followers. Nova is a vlogger and filmmaker most known for their satirical videos commenting on either current events or social issues. I would say that Nova really rose to fame in the rise of woke culture because a lot of their videos were satirical videos on you know social issues and that was like a breeding ground for like the pre hoteps to watch those types of videos from people that seemed smarter than them and they would like eat that shit up now this whole situation started for me on of course the bird app i was scrolling on the app and then i see this tweet from alexis or intellectual media here on youtube the tweet states my statements regarding the allegations against nova amante slash amante films it has come to my attention that my video editor amante films slash nova amante has been accused of sexual assault abuse intimidation and other horrible things that in no way reflect my values or that of intellectual media i am devastated and heartbroken I believe the survivors and have moved to terminate their relationship. I have talked with Amante and cannot say I believe their version of events. As a rape survivor and someone with severe trust issues, ask yourself how often you see me collaborate with others. I feel violated and betrayed, but that is nothing close to what the victims are feeling. You can get more information from the Instagram page in the attached screenshot. If you are a victim, you can also reach out to that page. Please do not DM me with triggering stories. Please boost this so that other victims can come forward and get the accountability and or retribution they're seeking and begin to heal. To all victims, I send my love and understanding and hope you get the healing you need. And when I saw that tweet, 
I was taken aback because I truthfully and honestly never thought that Nova moved like that. Now, after reading the tweet, I went over to the Instagram page to take a look for myself. I will be putting the link to the Instagram page as well as the Twitter page that is spearheading this movement in my description box below. If you are a victim or you know someone that's a victim, please, please tell them to contact Blaze and she'll help you with what she can. So the Instagram page that has been speaking about this and posting up victims stories is actually a side page for an artist named Blaze Aparte. I am so sorry about your last name. Who So Blaze has taken it amongst themselves to kind of spearhead this movement and create a platform for these victims to speak out about what happened to them by allegedly Amante. Hate that say allegedly, but you know, can't get sued. So the first post on this Instagram says, Announcement Nova Amante, aka the Amante Films, has committed multiple acts of abuse, predation, and other acts of violence within many. I don't know if you pronounce this by POC or you just say Black Indigenous POCs. Fans within the community, if you or someone you know has an experience to share, please DM me at soul.3 sense with two s's anonymity will be respected i again i will have the instagram in my description box below if you or someone you know has an experience with nova as well as it says that like what abuses are being alleged they have sexual assault emotional abuse mental abuse financial abuse defamation and gaslighting to just name a few and what this movement is asking for is community accountability and for Nova to be taken out of queer safe spaces. As of me recording this video, there are five alleged victims. I am not going to read you all five of these victims' statements. I would really appreciate it if you would go and read them for yourselves because there's one thing to hear me and to actually read the words yourself from these victims. Also, I would really appreciate you guys going over to the Instagram and the Twitter and showing as much support for these victims as you can. Now, though I'm not going to read all the victim statements, I am going to comment on some of the things that I've noticed they all share in common with their experiences with Nova. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but majority of the alleged victims are underage. And in one of these screenshots, Nova even states that they are aware of how young one of these alleged victims are compared to themselves. So it seemingly seems like Nova is extremely aware of how young the, pe the people they are preying on are. Also in those same string of messages, Nova is threatening to send their fans over to that person's page so they can attack them. From some of the victims' testimonies, you can see that Nova was allegedly soliciting nudes from these minors and would then get very verbally abusive if they did not get their way. One victim states that Nova had allegedly created a bunch of fake pages and harassed them. Now, today is a Wednesday, so Tuesday, um, Blaze, the owner of the Instagram page and the spearhead of this movement spoke on their past relationship with Nova. Lady states that they had met Nova in 2016 at a meet and greet and quickly afterward to start hanging out and soon after their relationship became sexual. The next sequence of events is what Blades would describe as love bombing from Nova being overly affectionate um, trying to tell them how special they were, how much they loved them very quickly in their relationship, as well as during sex, Nova would refer to Blaze as their wife. Blaze also admits that Nova and Blaze were both mutually toxic to each other. Now, Blaze's mother did not approve of Blaze's relationship with Nova, and as time went on and Blaze continued to take Nova's side, Blaze's mother then kicked them out. Nova then allowed Blaze to move in with them. There, they agreed to be in a monogamous relationship until Blaze felt comfortable being part of a polyamorous relationship. Soon after moving in, Blaze would find out that Nova was texting someone else, and when they brought it up, they were then promptly gaslit by Nova, 
And then a week later, Nova had moved the person who they were texting in with them. That person from this point forward, we will be referring to as C, as stated in Blaze's statement. Blaze states that years later, she found out that Nova had emotionally manipulated C into being in an emotional affair. Nova and Blaze had agreed that everyone living there would have to pay bills in order to chip in and things like that. Unfortunately, because of mental health issues, C really couldn't work and so Blaze took on the brunt of the financial burden because Nova refused to get any other job outside of YouTube. So at that point, Blaze was working three jobs and paying for her own things as well as C's. From that point forward, everything in the relationship seemed to be going fine until Nova realized that Blaze and C were getting too close to each other and Blaze would be taking up Nova's side and Blaze would be taking C's side so Nova as quickly as they brought C into the relationship kicked C out and then stated that C was manipulating them with their mental health issues. Nova would continue to flirt with other people that point forward Nova and Blaze were fighting daily and when they would fight Nova would throw Blaze's bipolar disorder back in their face. In the summer of 2017, Nova had went to Europe and during that time, Blaze had found comfort in another person who promised they would help them get out of the situation, but instead just use them for sex. Nova finds out about that situation and uses it to manipulate Blaze into agreeing to be in a polyamorous relationship. This is how they ended up in this triad where Blaze states that she was at her worst during this specific point in the relationship. Nova was emotionally abusing them, saying that they are not as good as their other partner and a lot of other horrible things. And it got to the point that towards the end of this relationship, Blaze ended up in the hospital. Blaze even admits that during this point of the relationship, because of all of the emotional financial abuse they were going under, they were completely out of character going as far as trying to break up Nova and the other person in the relationship. Nova ended up finding out and that's when they broke up with Blaze and kicked them out. Now, after that, Blaze was in an extremely dark place and actually wrote a suicide note to Nova and then did attempt to take their own life. In the winter of 2020, that is when Blaze and Nova would reconnect and hash out their old relationship and give apologies where apologies were due. Now, Blaze also states that during this meetup, Nova was bringing up their past sexual relationship a lot but Blaze had just chalked it up to just really bad jokes. From that point forward, Blaze and Nova were not particularly friends, but they were on equal footing with each other. As I stated, from that point forward, Nova and Blaze were very cordial with each other up until Blaze had saw a very concerning post on Nova's social media. So out of concern, they hit them up and what they were trying to do was just talk to them, but Nova came over to Blaze's home where they told them about their partner cheating on them. And not just that, but cheating on them with an abuser. Blaze would then try their best to comfort Nova the best they could. They actually ended up watching a movie in Blaze's room. And then as the night winded down, Blaze offered their couch to Nova. Now, as Blaze went to sleep, Nova did not move to the couch and Blaze states that they remember someone touching them and caressing them while they were half asleep. You can tell that afterwards, Blaze was not sure what happened and chalked it up to a very bad dream until they started experiencing severe PTSD and being triggered afterwards. And Blaze was then silent until they started seeing other victims 
of Nova. Once realizing that they were not alone, Blaze decided to start up this movement to help push out the voices of these young people who were afraid of coming forward because Nova does have a decent amount of following who would very readily attack them if given the command. This situation seems to have been going on longer than I thought, maybe a year plus. In one of these screenshots, Nova does mention a video by one of the victims. I tried to find it on YouTube, but I couldn't find it. So if you can find the video, please like DM it to me on Twitter. I would love to watch it. But I, when I say the situation has been going on longer than I thought, Nova has not posted on either of their YouTube channels in about a year. Their Twitter and Instagrams are completely scrub clean, not a single post there, and their Facebook page is gone, which to me looks a little suspicious looks a little guilty you don't just completely dip off social media if you ain't do nothing wrong people are lying on your name because why would you do that because now that you're gone how do you defend yourself you see what i mean it just it don't that the completely gone of all social media it does not look good for nova and i think what they're trying to do is that like if i like lay low for a while and then come back no one's gonna mention like what i did they might be able to get away because i don't think a lot of their fan base even knows what happened they just know that like nova is just gone from social media that at, at most maybe they're taking a break i believe these victims they are children who were taken advantage of by one of their favorite youtubers especially somebody with the almost perceived prestige that nova had because they are perceived to be smarter than everyone else. I think a lot of people just wanted to be around them because they seem so intellectual. They seem so wise beyond their year and so knowledgeable. And that is definitely the type of person that young teenagers kind of gravitate to in order to make themselves feel more mature. And again, the screenshots from nova themselves talking to their friends are very damning in my opinion they don't look good so yeah that's pretty much it i really wanted to make this video because when i was like looking on youtube i would see the words like amante films rape or amante films victims but no videos talking about this situation would pop up and so i felt like this needed to be brought to youtube and i know i don't have like a big following but still i i have a voice everyone's voice matters and i really just wanted to bring this to the attention of anybody who could see this you know and as well bring support to the victims and to blaze i have so much respect for blaze because after everything they went through they're still doing this and trying to give voices to the voiceless. And as a survivor myself, I commend Blaze for everything they are doing. And I know it must be hard to have to relive your trauma and other people's traumas, but you're doing it and I support you and I'm extremely proud. So again, please check out the Instagram and Twitter for the survivors. Please show your support please uplift their voices because these young kids need it but yeah that's pretty much it it feels weird to say like and subscribe after a video like this but that's the whole youtube spiel so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys